Okay, we here have our Continental Teledyne 4A032 has been mounted in our airboat where our Briggs and Stratton 40 cubic inch horizontally opposed twin used to be. There it is sitting over there awaiting a rebuild. We'll do a little bit more of a fair comparison here because that one was sick. And I'll show you some of the things we had to do to get this to work. We machined a little hub here to go from our four bolt pattern on our SAE flywheel. Just standard SAE bell housing. Wasn't too too complicated. And turn that out of aluminum stock on the lathe. And our crush plate, our six quarter twenty cap screws. Holds it pretty good. Also we have mounted the engine on resilient mounts. You can see here, also on the other side and up front as well. Those are sway bar end link bushings from AutoZone. Total cost on those is about ten dollars. So we repurposed those. They work quite well. And I may or may not tie in this front mount here just for additional security. I'm not too too sure how well these bolts are going to hold up, but this does not shake nearly as bad as the old engine setup did. So, give it a test run here. Fuel on. The fuel pump, the electric fuel pump, is actually not necessary on this engine because we do have a mechanical pump here. But, it was there, so we will use it. Let's switch our mags on. And give it a pull. Now, I'm going to put my thumb over the microphone here so I keep it from getting scratchy because it probably will get a little hitsy here after I start it up. I'll try to do this one handed.
Now we have to rig up our starter, which will go right there, and some form of throttle control.